Well, good afternoon and welcome back to WNEG Goes Back to School. And we're going to be uh, touring around and uh, visiting with the different schools in Stevens County. And we start here at Big A Elementary with pre-K and kindergarten. And we have some uh, brand new administration here at uh, Big A Elementary. Uh, Principal Jennifer King and uh, Assistant Principal Kathy Doan. Welcome to our program. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're so excited to be here. Mm-hmm. How are things going so far? We have had an exciting start to the school year. Um, I have been welcomed from the surrounding county, so this is my first year here at Big A and in Stevens County. Um, I previously spent 25, 24, 25 years in White County, um, and so this is my first year here in Stevens, but it has been an awesome um, honor and privilege to be the principal here. Uh, We have about 85 staff members and 406 pre-K and kindergartners, so 406 four- and (laughs) (laughs) five-year-olds. So if if you don't sweat when you hear that, you need to. (laughs) Very good, very good. So you came from White County. Tell us about what you did there. Um, So in White County, I served several capacities. I was a classroom teacher, um, an assistant principal, a principal, and I also was a curriculum director at the uh, county office. So I had different levels of responsibilities. Great. Welcome to Stevens County. Yes, yeah. it's, it's, I have enjoyed it. Yeah. And Kathy, everyone has been really kind. Yeah, yeah. Great, great. Kathy, tell us about you. Um, I actually have been in Stevens County um, as a teacher for nine years, and this will be my first role in administration in general, and so I'm very excited about it. Um, it's been a great start to the year with Miss King, and I'm already learning a lot and have been just very welcomed by the staff and have really loved just the role so far and getting to know the students. Very good. All right. I uh, have a lot of fond memories of Big A. Both my children uh, came through yeah. Big A, so it's always a, yeah. uh, a lot of fun to come back over and uh You've got a great program here and Leader in Me. Tell us about that. Yes. So the Leader in Me um, is a, a Franklin Covey. It's a, a program and an initiative that the school system has adopted. Um, teachers worked on it last year. But the whole core is to teach seven habits of a highly effective people. So there's an adult book. So that um, some adults that are listening may have read the book. Um, But we have the kid version of it, and we're teaching the children that they can be a leader, they can do hard things, um, that everyone is a genius, we can set goals for ourselves and make positive changes. And so we have uh, started with puppets, and we talk about the uh, habits on the morning announcements every day, Ms. Doan and myself, Mm -hmm. um, and how that they are being proactive and they are in charge of their actions. So not only is it morning announcements, but it's also recognition in the classroom. The teachers are recognizing the children every Friday for their display of those habits. So, for example, if the word of the week is being proactive, the teachers can nominate students that are making good choices and being a leader, as well as our little Indians. Um, our counselor, Ms. Kaylee Adams, has uh, taken nominations and recognized students and some parents may see those children on Facebook or in the newspaper so Mm -hmm. we want to recognize the children that are making the right choice. Very good and that's great positive reinforcement to Mm -hmm. to take home with them. Yes Yes. to be proud of. Yeah that's something I'm sure that all the children are striving for. Uh, Kathy have you seen the how the uh, children have improved since this program started this year? Oh, yes. You def- you see them. So we are in classrooms. We're observing them in their morning meeting, go through the different slides. And, the, and it's re- just really great to see four-year-olds making plans to be able to learn something new. That's a part of the curriculum is I can learn new things. I can do hard things. And to see that it's effective even with a four-year-old, it's just been really encouraging. And I think... Um, we're still early in it, only having been doing it for four weeks, but I can't even imagine the growth we'll see by just the consistency with it. Mm-hmm. Very good. Um, you, you, you gave us uh, one of the things that you want to give us, some, maybe uh, what are some of the habits? Sure. That, yeah. So the seven habits of highly effective people is one, being proactive, that you are in charge. Mm-hmm. The second is begin with the end in mind where you have a plan. So some people apply that to um, exercise or diets, um, but for us in, in the four and five year old world, we um, 
we're working to use our words instead of crying or hitting or pitching a fit, for lack of a better mm-hmm. description, to use the word, your words and explain what emotion are you feeling. Um, you're still hungry or I don't like that lunch choice. Instead of crying or doing another emotion that's confusing, you know, tell us, use your words. So having a plan, putting first things first, which is work first, mm-hmm. then play. Think win-win, which is everyone can win. Seek first to understand then to be understood, which is listen before you talk, synergize, which is together is better, working as a team, and then the last one is sharpen the saw, which is balance feels best. So as you heard, all of those things are habits that people can apply at the age of four and at the age of 54. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Absolutely. It's a, it's a good concept and good things that what I really like about it is not only are we teaching it to kindergartners, but they're teaching it at the middle school and the high school as well. Mm-hmm. And so we're the children, all children K-12 and well, pre-K-12 in Stevens County are hearing the same language and setting goals for themselves. So mm-hmm. that's exciting to know that hopefully that it'll pay off and we're going to have a um, highly effective community. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You probably have children that's going to take it home to their yeah. parents. Yes. <laughs> yes. You're doing, you're not yes. doing this. Yes. <laughs> so, we yeah. Yeah. Very good. All right. Anything else to add about leader and me? Or? Well, the other thing too, I, um, meeting with our curriculum teams, our county office, uh, principals and assistant principals, we, in the summer met as an administrative team and created the Dr. Franklin, I should say, created the vision and it's growing greatness in all students. And I feel like that, that this program um, truly supports that, that we are growing greatness in all students, whether it be a, a personal goal or an academic goal, that we are growing things in every child and sparking that growth mindset. Mm-hmm. So. All right. Uh, anything else to add before we meet uh, meet some of our no, students? No, but I'm here? excited to say we have some other children and some staff members for you to meet. Very good. Thank you very much. That's our principal, Jennifer King, and assistant principal, Kathy Doan, here at Big A Elementary School. Thank you. Thanks, thank thank you. you. All right. We're now joined by two kindergarten students here at Big A Elementary School in Mrs. Cheek's class. We have Clay Arnold and Livy Henry. All right. Uh, Clay, tell us about what you like here at school. I like the math. I like math, and I like to play outside. And I like, and I like to learn. And I like, I love my teachers because the activities. Very good. All right. How about you, Livy? I like the iPads, the Osmos, the computers, the books, the math. What do you like to do on the computers? Um, well, um, play, um, Monster Words. Monster Words. Yeah. Clay, what's your favorite thing? Math. Math. What do you like about, what do you like about math, Bess? Because I get to learn a lot. Very good. Very good. All right. All right. Anything else y'all want to add today? Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. That is Clay Arnold and Livy Henry, kindergartners here at Big A. All right, we're now joined by Mrs. Cheek's uh, class that's going to do a great song for us. Let's hear that song right now. Ready? Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Good job. Give yourselves a big hand. All right. So. What I'd like for you now, we, we can get a little line and everybody say your name. Can you say, that say your name on the microphone for us? So we'll, just, we'll just move those chairs back a little bit if you want to. That may, they can get in there and we'll go one at a time and say your name. That'd be great. So your parents and all the grandparents can hear you. Libby. Clay. Ryman. Sadie. Ollie. 
Braxton. Emery. Isaiah. Aiden. Madeline. Cassie. Rosalind. Briella. Kai. Judah. Jax. Caroline. Brianna. All right, Thank that you. is Mrs. Cheek's class and the days of the week, and we appreciate them so much here on Big A's Back to School. All right, now joined by uh, two more students. This is from Miss Champion's kindergarten class. We have uh, Dana Tran and Olivia Ivester. Welcome to our program, and uh, we're going to start with you, Dana. Tell us about what you like about school. <laughs> to do math, and I like to do patterns. Math and patterns. All right. How about you, Olivia? I like songs and colors, and I like coloring. My favorite colors are pink, purple, and blue. Very good. Pink, purple. Dana, what do you like best about math? Circling the, the letters that they're called. Yeah, yeah, that's very good. And you'd like a coloring song, Olivia? Is that what we said? Yeah. What's the, the coloring song you sing? Mm. Green, orange, <laughs> blue, and yellow. Okay, okay. Very good. Anything else to add today? Nope. All right. Oh, well, y'all did great. And uh, thank you so much, Dana Tran and Olivia Ivester, for being with us today. We're now joined by a couple of pre-K students from Mrs. Keller's class. We have Madison Hemphill and Levi Bennett, and we're glad to have you. Levi, tell us what you like about pre-K. Um, playing outside and swinging by myself and playing down the slide, being calendar helper. Calendar helper. I like that. Yeah, that's very good. And uh, I love slides, too. That's a lot of fun. How about you, Madison? What do you like best about pre-K? Reading books at the same time and playing outside. All right. you have a favorite book? What's, what's your favorite book? Flower Bear. All right. Very good. Very good. You have a lot of fun here at school? All right. You learning a lot? Yes. <laughs> good, good. Anything else you can tell us about pre-K? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, very good. That is Madison Hemphill and Levi Bennett. Thank you for being with us. All right. Now we're going to have a special song from Mrs. Keller's pre-K class. Good job. Give yourselves a big hand. Yay! Very good. All right. Yeah. Now, I want to, everybody, we're going to get in the line and everybody say your name into the microphone. Can you do that for me? All right. So we've got to go one at a time there and everybody else has to be quiet, okay? Okay. Go ahead and tell us your name. Adam. All right. Henry. My name is Bula. Jackson. Amelia. Cow. Iowa. Paisley. Yellow. Carter. Asher. Hudson, Timmy, Beckwin, Tatum, Eva, Madison, Hemphill, Isabella, Pulgram. All right, that is uh, Miss Keller's pre-K class here at Big A Elementary. 
All right, we're rejoined now by Principal Jennifer King and Assistant Principal Kathy Doan, and a lot of fun uh, sharing with the children, isn't it? Yes, it is. You never can tell what's going to come out of their mouths, <laughs> or sometimes they're shy and they nothing. Um, but it's every day is always in a, a new adventure. Um, every day, every hour of the day, and so we we love it every moment. And they are growing, and they have. Um, gotten used to our daily routines and it's been a pleasure to get to know them and to learn their personalities. Mm -hmm. I would ask parents uh, every Sunday I'm trying to send home a dear parent email just letting you know things ways that you can help us support us here on our day-to-day uh, -day basis and sleep is our number one need mm -hmm. if if they are not getting um, a good night's rest turning off the television turning off electronics before 10 o'clock then they're grumpy and so it makes our day hard but if parents if you can please um, have a consistent bedtime and also to communicate sometimes over communication is the key if if you have children that um, have allergies or preferences they don't like loud noises or big spaces if you could please let us know that and that way um, if that's a sensitivity then we won't ask for them to go to the gym so we're trying to learn um, each child and their needs some of them can't say those needs. They can't tell us and express with their words. So parents, if you have something that you'd like to share, please share with us um, anything. Nothing is too small. Um, each thing is important for each and every child. So if you'll please share those with us. But also read those emails and help us out with just anything, writing transportation changes in the agenda. Uh, but we love communication, constant communication. Mm -hmm. That's a key. So. Yeah, such a great, uh, great time for development in, yes, at this level, and it is. and and also, um, I know we're getting toward um, uh, uh, maybe a flu season or that type of thing, and yes, and you got to really have to watch that. We do. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a like a sickness illness policy. If they're running a fever, of course, keep them home. Um, but also, too, if they have things that are contagious, just reminding them to get in the habit of using a tissue or coughing in their elbow. Um, and keeping, you know, germs and germex and things like that handy. So, um, but yes, if they're sick, um, we want for them to be well. But yes, the the germs are here and spreading through the students and the staff. So, mm -hmm. and Kathy, you have uh, some special things that are going to be happening here at the school. This we do. We are excited to host some of our title nights, and those exist because we want our community to come into our school. So we're excited in, in September. We're going to invite grandparents of Big A students to come in for a grandparent tea. Um, in October, we're going to have a book or treat, and all of the information for those can be found on our website and our Facebook page if they have more questions. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. Anything else to add uh, for Big A this year? I don't think so. It's a pleasure to be here. Mm -hmm. I'm so honored to, to be the principal, and I have enjoyed getting to know the students, the staff, and the community. So we're mm -hmm. very thankful. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer King and Kathy Doan and Big A Elementary School for hosting WNEG Goes Back to School today. Tuesday, we'll be at Liberty Elementary School, so be sure and tune in then. For WNEG Goes Back to School from Big A Elementary School, I'm Phil Hobbs.